gas prices have been as high as they've ever been. And many people are finding ways to be able to reduce the impact of those high gas prices. Some of the benefits that you're looking for is number one, saving money at the pump, also being able to increase your miles per gallon, also being able to boost power and performance in your vehicle and reduce maintenance costs. While looking for these benefits, you're gonna find two popular products that come up in your search. One is the B Echo Fuel Tabs, and the other one is Fuel Factor X. Now let's be real. Your vehicle is one of the biggest purchases you'll ever make in your lifetime. And you don't wanna put anything in your vehicle that is not of quality. And so what I'm here to do is I'm here to help you do your due diligence. And we're gonna figure out which one of these products is gonna be best for your vehicle so that you can make an informed decision. We'll be right back. Welcome back, folks. Now, let me tell you what prompted this video. I'm on my live, doing my thing, just informing the people about something great that can save them with gas. And then out of nowhere, I get this comment, and it says, FFX, which stands for Fuel Factor X, do the same thing as B Echo Fuel Tabs. FFX is just a cheap copy. So I'm like, whoa, shots fired. So my response, I'm always gonna remain classy, is this is factually inaccurate, my friend. Video coming soon to clear the confusion. And this is not the first time that I've had comments directed towards the additives, and there's a lot of misinformation out there, and what this video is gonna do is clear it up. There is a vast difference between B Echo Fuel Tabs and Fuel Factor X, and in this video, we're gonna break them down. Now, as we look at this product, they both have a completely different way of delivery into your vehicle's fuel tank. Now, as we look at B Echo, their delivery method is through the form of a solid tablet or a pill, as many of you would call it. Now, we all know the physical form of a pill, in order for it to have maximum effectiveness, it has to be able to dissolve. And the question is, if you're purchasing a product to get a utility out of it or a benefit out of it, how long does it take for that actual product to deliver its benefits? If you're in the form of using a tablet or a pill, the delivery system doesn't take effect until it dissolves. So the question is, how long does it take for you to get the actual benefit once you have it inside of your vehicle? Now, to answer this question of the time it takes for that tab to dissolve, there is a video on YouTube of an individual who is pouring gasoline into a cup, as you see it here. Now, as he pours gasoline into this cup, he is actually going to deposit the B Echo fuel tab. And imagine this being your gas tank. So wonder how long does it take for this to actually dissolve? So when it hits your gas tank, it's going to hit your gas tank as a solid pill. Now, hitting your gas tank as a solid pill in this form, it is not treating your gas yet because it has to dissolve. Now, I'm gonna judge by the time of this video to give kind of an estimate of how long it may take to dissolve. As you see here, this video is 16 minutes and 45 seconds long. So let's just use that as a guideline. So when you enter this pill into your car, how long or how many miles can you drive in 16 minutes because for the first 16 minutes even though you've used a product there will be no effect on your gas for 16 minutes 16 minutes can be valuable time especially while driving in traffic because you got to think how many miles are you going to drive in 16 minutes how much of the utility of this product are you losing that is a factor to consider when the delivery system is in a pill form. 
Now let's take a look at the Fuel Factor X delivery system of their additive. Fuel Factor X is in the form of a liquid, which means that the very second it enters your vehicle and the very second you put gas with it, it starts, it affects immediately. You lose no time, you lose no utility, and you're getting every dime out of the product that you put into it as far as the usage. So that's a perfect way to get instantaneous effect out of your money. Because with the economy, you want your money to go as far as possible. You don't want it to be wasted. So folks, we're gonna do another part of due diligence, and that is actually going to the website of the company. Now we're at the website of B Echo, and this is where you can purchase the fuel tabs. And we wanna see if the information is enough to actually make a good decision. We wanna look for certain things, certain words, and anything that's said, we wanna make sure that it can be substantiated by the company. So let's kind of dive in a little bit. So as I go through this and brim through it, obviously all this is advertising, but one thing that stuck out to me is when they said, use by commercial fleets for years, now available to the public. Vehicle fuel tabs are amazing fuel saver and engine cleaner. So they did say it's used by commercial fleets for years. Now let's scroll down even further. They listed tested and proven again for the second time used by commercial fleets for years now available to the public made for be epic with epa registered fuel maximized technology epa registered number and they give a number right here now they say for years large trucking fleets and equipment rental this is the third time they mention this equipment rental companies and other commercials and industrial consumers have been successfully using vehicle fuel tab technology to increase fuel savings, improve vehicle performance, and lower maintenance costs. It has been shown to improve fuel consumption by 15%. So as a consumer, you want to know what's in this product that makes it work. Like what type of things or functions allow it to work? You don't just want to know that, hey, I pour it in here and it works. But what is the science behind it, folks? You gotta know the science behind it, right? You gotta know the science behind anything. Because this way, if you have science behind it, then you can know and trust that proper scientific research has been done. So let's actually go and get a little bit more information. It's telling you how it works. And it says a revolutionary fuel catalyst formulated to reduce the consumption of your vehicle, resulting in more miles per gallon, therefore saving you money every time you fill up your gas tank. And it's telling you increases powerful power and performance and reduces harmful emissions. So what we wanna do is we actually wanna go down and learn more. So we know that there's a catalyst in here. So let's see what this is all about. So we're gonna go to learn more and now we have a fact sheet. And so what we're looking for is we're looking for some of the functions of the ingredients in here, like what else do they do? So as we look through the sheet here, we're looking for functions. And it's just saying revolution, revolutionary fuel catalyst, which we see there a few times. And it says this technology has been used for years by truck and fleets and companies. So we said that a few times and we saw it a few times and it has directions and it has the EPA number here. And so we're scrolling down additionally to see how it works. But what we're not seeing is the things that's in it and the things that's in it that work. So we see a fuel catalyst. It has to be more than a fuel catalyst in here. And so on the website, on the sheet, this is all the information that is there. So it's a little bit skimpy when it comes down to something that you put into a vehicle that costs you thousands of dollars. And so what we're gonna do now is we wanna see if we can substantiate some of what is being shown on the website. And if we can, great. So let's do the second part of our due diligence.
Now, when asked about their registration with the EPA, I find this kind of odd. This is a video of question and answer with their formulator and listen to what he says. All other fuel additives can simply fly through by virtue of their ingredients. The EPA had not seen a product like this, a catalyst, and they had to go through special uh, approval committees and so on to get it approved. But yeah, we are registered. You can find it online on EPA's website under fuel additives that are approved uh, under the name Fuel Maximizer from Pro One. Fuel Maximizer from Pro One? Hmm, let's take a look, shall we? Okay, so we're on the website and we do see Pro One and we do see Fuel Maximizer, but Fuel Maximizer is a liquid. Hmm. Well, Fuel Maximizer is a liquid and all this cell is liquid. Why would the Epic have a tablet and not a liquid? Why wouldn't they just rebrand this liquid and call it the Echo? Why is it so different? That is very odd. A completely different product. This company sells liquids only, but B Epic has a tablet or pill. That is very odd. Could it be that the pill or the tablet is not EPA registered, but this formula is? Well, let's just check, shall we? Now, I was able to find Pro One Inc. And it looks like the additive fuel maximizer is on the EPA list. But I'm confused. The fuel maximizer is a liquid. So just because this liquid is EPA approved, it means that a completely different pill is too. I would think because they're two different compounds, two different forms of delivery, that it would have to be approved. Am I missing something here? It's very weird. Fuel Maximizer Pro One is approved, and this is a liquid, but the pill is not. I have to say, this pill is not EPA approved, but this liquid is. So this is really confusing. Again, a pill, but we don't know where the pill came from. Did Pro One make it? And if they made it, if it's effective, why wouldn't they make one on their own website? Or maybe they just made it for B Echo, but the EPA doesn't say that the pill or tablet is safe it says that the liquid is safe. Can someone help me out with this? This is highly confusing to figure out. Now I can see if they bought the company or they bought the formula and had a complete rebrand, but this part confuses me. Maybe some of you can help me out. But let's just move on, shall we? Because I don't want to wreck my brain on this. For years, large trucking fleets have used this. So by them saying that, I researched their website widely on the internet and I couldn't find any actual case studies from trucking fleets or other companies using their fuel tablet technology. And again, maybe you can do more research than I have, but if as a whole, the US trucking industry consumes roughly 54 billion gallons of fuel a year, even at the least amount of savings, these tablets claim to save 5%, would amount to a potential 2.7 billion gallons saved annually. It would quickly be the best practice touted by fleet managers, and I would at least find one example. I found none. I would also at least be able to find a mention on a website form like truckerspost.com, and you can do your own research, but if we go to truckerspost.com, I've looked up and down and I have found nothing on the Echo and its claims of being touted of use by truckers. So that I could not substantiate or find 
So my other concern is, is if B Echo's parent company is only five years old, how can this product developed by them have years of testing as a claim if B Echo is only five years old? Unless they had the product secretly in use or unless they purchased another company, that part we don't know. So the information is a little vague. Now, fuel tablets that claim to save you money at the pump are nothing new. There are at least two now defunct companies that sold arguably similar place tablets in your gas products. Let's just look at them. One was called Fuel Freedom International, and they actually sold a pill that dissolved in your tank. The other one was called Greenfoot Global LLC Fuel Tabs and they actually sold the same thing. It was a pill that you put in your tank. Now let's see what happened to these companies that sold similar products. Well, the first one, if you look at it, Fuel Freedom International, their claims were so good that it caught the attention of the Florida Attorney General's office, who opened up an investigation on the company in 2006, and after over a dozen complaints, that company was found to have bad business practices and had to pay a hundred thousand dollars in fines the other company green foot llc they actually got busted by the ftc and they had to have to pay eight hundred thousand in consumer fines now i've read valid concerns that b echo does not back up their claims with actual case studies from fleet managers or hard numbers from independent testers not affiliate with the company with before and after results. Now I'm not saying that B Echo is exactly like those defunct aforementioned companies, but their delivery method, tablet in your fuel, and claim to save gas on power are. So now let's take a look at Fuel Factor X. And we're gonna take a look at the information presented on the website. And as you scroll through the website, it does have the benefits of it. And also you have reviews here you have FAQ here, and you have technical information. Now notice this. With this, you have a product sheet, you have an ASTM D975, a material safety sheet, a frequently asked questions, and a commercial white paper. So let's take a look at each one of them. Product sheet. The product sheet literally, unlike the Echo tabs, it tells you what the functions do. It tells you about the prolonged engine life. It tells you, you know, increased fuel economy. And literally you go here and see what's in it. And what is patented and amazing is the organometallic compound. It tells you what that does. It tells you what the detergent does. It tells you what the polymerization retardants do. It tells you what the rust and corrosion inhibitors do. It tells you what the demulsifiers do, what the fuel stabilizers do. So you know what each component does in your car fully transparent. And so again, this is on the product information sheet. Now, if we go back and we back up, you also have the commercial white paper, which literally is all the technical information. And if you go through this, it is transparent about everything that it does. So you can go through here, you can read through the warranties. And let me mention that this company is so confident in the results that it does offer a warranty. I'm gonna show you what it says right here. Now, B Echo does not offer any warranty or any insurance, so let's take a look. It says FFX does not change the specs of fuel. If it does not change the specs of fuel, it cannot affect the warranties. My daily choice maintains insurance for any claim that happens while using the fuel additive. So this company is so confident that they have an indemnity insurance, and you'll see that on the back of the bottle, that if anything goes wrong with your car while using this, they will take care of it with insurance. So this means you'll potentially get a new car, worst case scenario. So this is what I mean by having confidence in the product. They back it with an insurance claim. And you'll see that multiple times. Now, as we go through this, we have their commercial white paper which literally explains everything. It's so long, you can read it yourself. 
It's 15 pages long of information. So that's just a commercial white paper. As we go over, we have the frequently asked questions PDF. So again, making sure that you are well informed about the product. Then you have the material safety data sheet. So you can go through all of this. And again, multiple information, big transparency. Then you have this sheet right here, which is your ASTM D9 diesel fuel specification test. So you have the test right here. And again, you have the results of the test. You have everything right here and full transparency. So now let's dive a little deeper because one thing that you may find is that this product was not always called Fuel Factor X. As a matter of fact, it was called something before then. And this will show you that this product has actually been in use for 20 years. Let's dive a little further. Called Syntec Global, and the name of the product was Extreme Fuel Treatment. As you see, it looks similar to Fuel Factor X because this was Fuel Factor X before it was named Fuel Factor X. So this company has already proven itself. And as you see some of the product images here, you will see it looks exactly the same, pretty much almost. And it does have the foil packs and the fuel delivery system. Now, this is a good thing because this means that my daily choice purchased this company to bring it over because of its stellar reputation. Let's dive even a little deeper to what's in this product and what separates it. So folks, we're gonna do an EPA lookup. Now we know that Fuel Factor X was just named and acquired by My Daily Choice. And the original company was Syntax and Extreme Fuel Treatment. So we're gonna look under Syntax and see if we can find anything that they've ever been registered on the EPA. So let's go under the S's here. And okay, this is R. So let's see if we can find Syntax Global or Extreme Fuel Treatment and see if they were ever listed on EPA. As we, okay, we went too far, so we're in the T's. So, okay, here we go right here. As you see, Syntac Global Inc. and you see Syntac Engine Boost 2.0, Extreme Fuel Treatment, Extreme Fuel Treatment. And as you see, it is an EPA and it is certified both types, gas and diesel, to be able to use safely. So folks, it passed the EPA test X originated from high level scientists impacting organizations like NASA and leverages the chemistry that two of the smartest men in the world actually won a Nobel Prize for discovering, Wilkerson and Fisher. And you can look this up as well. The chemistry of the organometallic compound is what makes this product so absolutely amazing. Now, this product is the only product in its class. As a matter of fact, the patent issued for this product by the US government, it states that the reason the patent on this product was granted in the first place is that other products could not do what this product does. For over 20 years, this product has had an impeccable track record. Now, as far as this being used commercially, whether this was extreme fuel treatment or fuel factor X, which is currently is now, it was actually used by the world's largest mining contractor, PT Pamel. It treated over 150 million gallons of fuel every year with Fuel Factor X and has been around for over 20 years. According to their records, our product, FFX, saves them well over 17 million in repairs alone, and that's not even including the fuel savings. You want to know the history? Well, whether our product was Fuel Factor X or Extreme Fuel Treatment, here is the history, folks. Tested for over 20 years, over 65 million hours of use, over 2.5 billion miles driven. What you knew as Extreme or Syntec Global is now Fuel Factor X, and it has the history to back up performance. Now recently, Candice Bird Davis was able to put Fuel Factor X in her Bentley 
this vehicle retails for over $280,000. So if it's good enough for a $280,000 vehicle, it's definitely good enough for your vehicle. So many things to consider. There's only one product that has an instant effect as soon as you apply it, indemnity insurance, a 20-year track record proven, EPA listed, Nobel Peace Prize, and patent approved. Folks, which are you putting in your gas tank? There's only one that stands out, and that is Fuel Factor X. I hope this helped you make an informed decision about which product is proven and best to put in your vehicle. There's only one clear choice. Have a nice day and take care.